Hi, welcome to episode number seven of Abide TV. Now, this week I want to talk about something that's been a bit of a buzzword over the past couple of years among Christians, and that is purpose. And I bring this up because I think there's a lot of confusion about God's purpose for our lives as believers. Now, I've talked to many people over the past couple of years who feel like as they get maybe up there, you know, past into the middle age years, who begin to feel like they haven't lived up to the purpose that God has in store for them. And there is a sense of discouragement and frustration that sets in. But let me have us think about it this way. I think one of the issues that we're facing is that we're giving into this sense of pragmatism. That if we look at our lives and we don't see this uh, massive amount of fruit in terms of people who have been blessed or touched through our lives, then we begin to question whether or not we've actually been fulfilling God's purpose or living in God's will for our lives. And we think about some of these people who really challenged the status quo of Christianity over the years, and we think about the, the difference and the impact that they had on the body of Christ. Well, that's all good and fine, and God raised them up for that purpose. But in the midst of that, let's not overlook the fact that there's probably more unsung heroes of the faith than there are sung heroes of the faith. Let me use this quote that I have written in the front of my Bible. It says, It remains to be seen what God will do with the man who is fully consecrated to him. Now, we always ask, well, who, who said that? That's really cool. You know, let me read it again. It remains to be seen what God will do with the man who is fully consecrated to him. It was said by Henry Varley. You say, who in the world is Henry Varley? Well, you probably don't know who Henry, Henry Varley is, but you probably know the person to whom he said this quote. Henry Varley said this to young D.L. Moody, and it became a challenge and a rallying cry in D.L. Moody's life. And we certainly know the things that D.L. Moody went on to do. Or think about the street preacher who was out preaching on the street corner and had people walking by, and you know, as you often see in street evangelism, you know, so often people don't stop and tell you what kind of difference it made or whether or not they liked what you said. So this man is out preaching on a street corner and people are walking by, some people stopping to listen, had no idea that one of the people who walked by him was a man named A.W. Tozer, who never stopped, never said a word, but heard enough during that preaching to go home and surrender his life to Jesus Christ. And certainly men, most of us in Christianity know a name like A.W. Tozer. You may not become an A.W. Tozer, you may not become a D.L. Moody, but I would encourage us to take that challenge of Henry Varley, that God, we, we have yet to see what God can do with the person completely consecrated to him. You seek to be that person. Give yourself completely to Jesus Christ, and God will use you for his glory. You may never realize the extent to which he's used you, but he will. So instead of comparing yourself to all the, the Keith Greens and all these people of the world, seek to be faithful where God has you, right here, right now, be completely sold out to Jesus Christ, and he will work through your life, whether you see it or not. Because the most important thing is that he gets all the glory. Well, thanks again for joining us this week, and Lord willing, we'll meet you back here for another episode of Abide TV. And until then, abide in Christ.